In this video, I want to show you how you can use your word list tool in Logos to help you determine when and what an author intended to emphasize. With this powerful tool, we can create a word list of all the terms in a given text, then sort that list according to frequency so that we can see which terms appear most often. And finally, we can transform our word list into an easy to memorize stack of flashcards. I want us to begin this video by looking at a text I translated the other day. So open up your ESV Bible to 1 Samuel 15. Now, as I was working through this text in my Hebrew Bible, I picked up on a repeated word. But when I looked at this passage in my English version, the repetition seemed to disappear. That's because the translators of the English version chose a few different terms when translating the repeated Hebrew term. Let me show you what I mean. Open up your Hebrew Bible in one panel and the ESV in the other and make sure you have sympathetic highlighting turned on. Now, I also want to link these two texts together so that they'll scroll simultaneously. To do this, click the Resource Menu button at the top and designate the Lexham Hebrew Bible as Link Set A. Then do the same thing for the ESV. Now, I want to work our way through 1 Samuel 15 together in the Hebrew text and highlight the repeated term so that we can see it in our English text as well. The Hebrew term we're looking for is kol, which is the word for voice, and it appears over and over in this passage. It shows up in verse 1, twice in verse 14, once in verse 19, and again in verse 20. It shows up in verse 22, then one more time in verse 24. Now, to get a different view of this phenomenon, let's run a Bible search for the term kol. To do this, right-click the term kol in the Hebrew text, then choose the lemma form, and choose to search this resource from the left. When the new search panel appears, adjust your search fields to only include 1 Samuel 15. Now run your search. When the results appear, add an English text to your search results. Now I'm looking at a side-by-side -side Hebrew to English equivalent that helps me see the repetition more clearly. From these results, we find that our English Bible only translates the term coal as voice in a few places. In one case, our English Bible chose not to translate the term at all. Then in other places, translates the term as bleeding and lowing. Yet in every case, we have the same Hebrew word, kol. So you can imagine how clear this repetition would have sounded to a Hebrew-speaking Israelite. And again, this is one way the Old Testament writers created emphasis in their stories. They used word repetition as a way of underlining a portion of their text. In this case, we have the word voice repeated over and over again, because God commanded Saul to listen to his voice. But instead, Saul listened to the voice of the people. And for this reason, God eventually rejected Saul as king over Israel. Now, how can you repeat this research at home? One way to identify repeated terms in a passage or book of the Bible is to create a word list. First, go to your document's title and select Word List from the options below. Then, give your list a name, like 1 Samuel 15. Next, click the Add button and type the reference for 1 Samuel 15. When you press enter, Logos creates a word list with every term from this chapter, and what's more, lists the words according to their frequency, from most frequent words to least frequent words, making it easy for us to see the repeated terms. Now, if you scroll through the list, you'll see that the term kol appears six times in this chapter. Then that the term shema, which means to listen, appears eight times in this chapter, which may contribute to the point we made earlier regarding the message of this story. As a last step, you can create flashcards based on the most frequent words in a biblical narrative. To do this, click the Cards option to the right, then make your format selection to the left. Each card has the Hebrew term on the front and the English translation on the back. So whether you want to discover repeated terms in a given passage or brush up on your Hebrew vocabulary, the Word List tool makes this possible. To get started using Logos, click Get Logos 6.